Here's my open source version of Arlo. I've dubbed it Motion Detection, uh, which you can see right there. Motion Detection, that's my GitHub repo. Um, what it is, it's a home security system that I've made myself. Uh, so there's a little USB cam right there that monitors the motion. As you can see in the laptop, I'll stay still. Um, the threshold is set really low, so like it'll, it'll probably pick up a fly moving. So look at the red LED on the USB cam. Notice that when I move. It blinks. That's taking a picture. So once it takes a picture, what it does is it notifies me via email. And once I get the email, which I've shut off because I don't want to get spammed, as you can see, the threshold is set really low. But once I get the email, uh, I can remotely view the feed. I've written an Android app to work in conjunction with the Python software that I've, uh, you know, I don't want to say compile, but that I've, I've written and placed on the Raspberry Pi. It's a 300 line class. It's pretty small, but it gets the job done. So let's open up the app. Is it still open? No. Okay. I was going to say. All right. So what I'm using right now is my, that's a uh, private IP. I don't want to use the public, which you can use. I mean, you could see why I don't want to use it. This is going to be all over the internet. I don't want people trying to hack me. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, let's, let's test it out here. So let's view the camera. As you can see right there, it kills the motion detection system and then hands control of the camera over to the streaming feature. So you can move all you want. That'll never change, and the LED will never blink. And as you can see, it's laggy. I have to work on that, but it does work. So, like, the, the tricky thing, you know, to get working that I had to work out logically was... There's two separate processes. Uh, as you can see right here, once it stops, if any you know one viewing this video is familiar with the Android Activity lifecycle, that was just on stop. So in the app, I wrote something to send a signal to the uh, the RPI saying that the camera is no longer needed, the streaming is no longer needed, so it hands control back over to the motion detection system. That's what I was just going to touch on. I was going to say that what was tricky to work out logically was, um, you know, the motion detection system and the streaming both needed to control the camera, but couldn't do so at the same time. So I, I had to kind of uh, find a way to separate um, the lock on the camera for each function. So, uh, you know, that's all finished, as you can see. Uh, pretty cool concept, but you can see right here, it counts the seconds that I don't move. Let's try it again. Uh, a really another tricky thing to get working too is uh, compiling all that source code on the RPI. In order to get you know OpenCV working, I had to compile the latest stable of FFmpeg, you know the latest stable of CMake, um, a bunch of you know newer packages that RPI didn't provide. Um, I'm running Raspbian on there, but yeah, that that took me about a week or two. It was a lot of compiling a lot of errors and a lot of headache but if anyone wants the image I can make that available via Dropbox or whatever other program out there that can hold uh, you know the image that I've made I don't have to ghost the whole SD card I can just probably you know R sync uh, you know uh, whatever's needed you know uh, let's see There we go. Yeah, that's super laggy. But as you can see again, motion detection systems off. That's fucking, that's so bad. That lag is so bad. Ah, motion detection systems off and I'm streaming now. So, so if I were to leave that and hook that up to my front door, I'd be able to view this at work. You know, if anyone came up to the front door, mailman, you know, anybody, anyone looking in. I have a uh, five thousand dollar dirt bike there, so, and a lot of gaming equipment and a lot of other cool stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it. So you know, I hope you enjoyed. This is the final result, and uh, nuts and volts is is picking up this project. The last one was ele an electric, electric. Uh, what the fuck was it? It was a, it was basically a wireless switch that I built out of a. 
uh, what was it an MPN bipolar junction transistor and a single single pole single throw normally open uh, relay. It was uh, an automated switch. Enjoy.